I do know what the Democrats' presidential candidate said about those abuse photos. He blamed it on the American character. If we're going to have hate speech, um, when John Kerry says he didn't blame reason, it on the American character, no, don't talk over each other. He um, didn't. What he said was um, the abuse at at the prisons is a natural outgrowth of the American hubris and in going into that war. That is as close to an attack on the American character, blaming this on the American character. As you can see, I assume those are the Al Franken fans who believe that it, this is a, an outgrowth of the American character. Um, look, I don't know what Rush Limbaugh said, but if we're going to have spa hate speech, I just assume not have it be directed at Americans. Uh, you know, okay, go ahead. This is why I brought my bag. Are you, what, are you going to throw it at her? No, I, I want to show you, because this is when we start talking about what's true and what isn't. And I'm sure that John Kerry didn't blame this on the American character. But I want to give you an example of how... He said it was an outgrowth of the American hubris that took us into this Was it the world. American? Well, it was an outgrowth of the hubris. There's no doubt about that, <laughs> of, of this administration. Hubris. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Uh, this is the exciting portion where we go through the footnotes of my book. Well, no. uh, uh, while we've he's taking... Well, no, I got it. I got it right here. I, this is how reliable Anne is. Let me just read something. Uh, th this, is a, this is an absolutely true story. Treason came out about a week before I had to finish my book, about 10 days. So I didn't have a chance to go through it the way I w went through slander. So I didn't go through your book, for my book. So a few weeks later, after my book was to bed, my wife and I went out to dinner early. Go I put treason in my library with the books. And my wife and I are going out the back way. She'll, my she'll, assistant, she'll autograph it for you if you'd like. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. I mean, good, good. I'll take, you know, whatever. Anyway, so. Um, Franny's coming, coming with me, and she says, I got to put on lipstick. So I'm, I said, she goes back to get on some lipstick, and I look in the bookshelf, I see trees, and I say, Andy, that was my assistant, I said, I'll bet you I can find a lie in the book before Franny gets her lipstick on. <laughs> so, so I pull it out, and I just go like, boom, and I turn it to, I was going like this. And I turn it to, and I scan the pages, and I see New York Times. And whenever I see New York Times, I know Anne's lie. So here it is. <laughs> New York Times columnist Thomas Friedman sniffed that racial profiling was not, quote, civilized. He blamed 20 years of relentless attacks by Muslim extremists on, I quote, on, I quote, religious fundamentalists of any stripe. Let me say that sentence again. He blamed 20 years of relentless attacks by Muslim extremists on, I quote, and then in quotes, religious fundamentalists of any stripe. Well, Andy had been my researcher. He knew what to do. He nexused religious fundamentalists of any stripe. Boom. He got it. It actually highlights it. You know, you've nexused. So this is what, this, this is what it was. It was a uh, December 26th New York Times op-ed piece by Thomas Friedman called Naked Air. And in it, he suggests that people, that they make people fly naked. And he says, think about it. If everyone flew naked, not only would you never have to worry about the passenger next to you carrying box cutters or exploding shoes, but no religious fundamentalist of any stripe would ever be caught dead flying nude. <laughs> so, but let me read the sentence again, Anne. So this, then, is, this, then, wait, wait, this is how reliable okay. that it's Kerry blamed the American character for this. Okay, you read the sentence, and I want to give her a chance. He blamed 20 years of relentless attacks. He blamed 20 years of relentless attacks by Muslim extremists on, I quote, religious fundamentalists of any stripe. Okay. <laughs> you... Um, you don't have a backpack, but... <laughs> no, I do have a watch, if you could um, keep, but, keep an eye on it for these long, boring stories, um, because I'm, I would like equal time. 
And I, 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 I am trying to give everybody also, time. Please um, go ahead. If, if this whole debate is going to be about Ann Coulter, I'm just not prepared on Ann Coulter. Uh, liberals think that you can't paraphrase an article. Um, you actually, you, you know, conservative books would be nothing but an Encyclopedia Britannica of the entire droning, boring article. You have to attach them all. You can never paraphrase something. My paraphrase was absolutely accurate. He is taught. Thomas Friedman is talking about how to keep the airline safe after 9-11, after 20 years of relentless tax. <laughs> Senator Norm Coleman. <laughs> okay. Oh, that, that polite decorum of the liberals. Um, he is talking about how to respond to, to the relentless attacks by Muslims on American airlines, on American embassies, on Americans, on Italian cruise ships, and so on. Um, and what his proposal, his facetious proposal is, I mean, he says after an attack like 9-11, um, there are two solutions. Um, we can either learn to live with much higher levels of risk, or we can be, let, uh, or we can be much more um, um, controlled as a society. Uh, on a side note, I have another solution. It's a little something I've worked up. I like to call it racial profiling. Um, but his suggestion is, is that we fly naked because two advantages to that. One is <laughs> you'd catch the guys with the box cutters. And second, it would be a deterrent to religious fundamentalists of both stripes, uh, or, or of all stripes. That is Muslim extremists. We really, I mean, you know, I, I, I hate to shock liberals on this one, but the Amish extremists have been very quiet recently. The Mormon extremists have been very quiet recently. They're not the ones we need to be looking for at airports. This nation is under attack, and the refusal of the left to admit after um, a dozen attacks on America and America's interests by um, men who have identical hair color, eye color, skin color. You could use one of those paint chips for the skin color. Um, all speaking Arabic to one another. Half of them are named Muhammad. But, we, but liberals pretend we have no idea who we're looking for. Uh, but they're, you know, their testy George Bush didn't stop 9-11. But don't look for, you know, Arabic men speaking, speaking, or rather Muslim men speaking Arabic to one another, named Muhammad.